On April 17, 2014, two authors, Ellen O. and Melinda Lowe, expressed their frustration with the lack of diversity in children's literature through a Twitter exchange. This was a response to the all-white, all-male panel of children's authors selected for BookCon's May conference. After the initial Twitter exchange, several other authors, bloggers, and book industry people gave their input, suggesting taking action. A three-day event was planned for May 1st through 3rd to raise awareness, brainstorm solutions, and take action. The first tweet using the hashtag WeNeedDiverseBooks was sent on April 24th. After this post, the hashtag took off, leading to the hashtag officially trending on April 29th. In 2013, the New York Times published an article asking, where are the people of color in children's books? That year, 3,200 children's books were published, with only 93 of them about African American people. In June of 2013, publisher Lee and Lowe Books created a graph illustrating that while 37% of the U.S. population are people of color, only 10% of children's books published contain people of color and multicultural content. This gap has remained steady for over 18 years. This led to further investigation by the Cooperative Children's Books Center, the CCBC. The CCBC removed the number of books published with non-human characters to find that of 11,183 books with human characters, only 124 of those books were people of color. So why do we need diverse books? America is expected to become a majority-minority state by 2043. Books need to reflect this society. People of color need to be represented in books in order to represent the world as it really is. As our population continues to grow and change, children deserve to find connections with characters and literature. In a survey of 2,000 schools, 90% believed children would be more enthusiastic readers if they had books reflecting their lives. So what are the benefits of reading diverse books? They reflect the world and the people of the world. They teach respect for all cultural groups. They serve as a window and a mirror and as an example of how to interact with the world. They show that despite differences, all people share common feelings and aspirations. They can create a wider curiosity of the world. They prepare children for the real world. They enrich educational experiences. Finally, in the words of Rudine Sims Bishop, when there are enough books available that can act as both mirrors and windows for all our children, they will see that we can celebrate both our differences and similarities because together they are what make us all human. Hi, my name is John Green and we need diverse books. I think we need diverse books because we need to reflect the reality of our communities and that reality is a very diverse one. But also, while it's important to see yourself in stories, and I think lots of people don't see themselves in enough stories, it's also really important to see the other. Like one of the magical things about reading to me is that it helps me to imagine the life outside of myself, right? Like it helps me to imagine other people complexly.